Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with a quick overview of my settings on PC for No Man's Sky. Now, these will affect the consoles a little bit, but most of this is going to be on PC. If you want details on everything, link below down in the description to a video that is way longer that goes in depth. But overall, go to your general options. I make sure to change some of this stuff. I will disable, hold to confirm. And that's about it. That's all I'll change other than the music and the sound effects. Hold to confirm, disabled. Video options. I make sure to set mine all, you know, to normal default settings. I'll do my FOV, my field of view, as wide as it can go, 100. The lower the number, the more zoomed in it is. So I put mine at 100, which is the highest it will go. Motion blur, zero. I don't like most motion blur. Vignette and scan lines disabled. That way there's no like weird things, artifacts on the screen. I like my graphics to be crisp and clean. Then we go over to the graphics options. This is going to be mostly on the uh, PC side of things. I have my texture quality set to high. I have my animation quality set to ultra. Shadow quality high. Pro Post-processing ultra. I have my reflection set to enhanced. I've noticed, especially on the, the uh, space stations, that reflections are really, really noticeable in the floor. But if you set them to ultra, it'll get too shiny and you start to get some shimmering, some uh, like flickering in the graphics. You can go whatever one you want. I like mine on enhanced. Volumetric effects high, terrain tessellation high, planet quality high, and base complexity high. Then anastropic filtering is 16. I put this a little bit higher than usual because I have some of these set lower, so I have a little extra room to go with my anastropic filtering. GTAO, ground truth shadows, I set that to high. And my anti-aliasing is on DLAA. If I don't do DLAA, I usually have mine set to just regular TAA. Either one really looks good, but I like the look of DLAA the best. So those are my settings to make sure everything works right. And also, I mean, I always set my V-Sync and my maximum frame rate in my control panel for my graphics card. So in my case, I am running a RTX 3080. And so I will go into my NVIDIA, you know, control panel and I will set these in there manually because in the game it works, but in the um, NVIDIA control panel, it works even better than that. So I have a, my PC specs are up on the screen right now. That is all of what I'm running. So you can compare your setup to mine and see what you like the best. Hopefully you guys like this video. It's really short. Again, if you want more detail down below in the description and I'll see you guys next time.